19, stand number three. And we're here with Mike from Motome.finance. Hello, Hello, Mike. Hi. Now, these guys have very kindly chosen to support the podcast here at the NEC. Uh, Mike, we're ever so grateful for your support. Thank you very much for sharing our vision, for trying to spread the word and bring news to the consumer, people that are coming to the show or are unable to come to the show. So thank you for your support this week. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity. You're very welcome. So, Mike, just tell us a little bit about what motorhome.finance do. We provide finance for motorhomes, caravans, uh, static lodges, anything leisure uh, orientated. We've got a handy quote tool, um, all available at www.motohome.finance. Perfect, and it is really easy to use, isn't it? It really, it's really is. really clever. Yeah. So if, if people are looking to finance their dream, uh, a new motorhome or a second-hand motorhome, yep. uh, can they come and talk to you about that here at the show? Absolutely, yeah. We're taking um, online applications. It takes literally three minutes. We'll do a soft credit search that will have no detrimental effect on, on the applicant and we can give them a bespoke accurate quotation that will be locked in for a couple of weeks. So as rates increase, you know, if, if they're approved, um, their, their rate's locked in. So they could get approved here at the show Absolutely. and then go and find the motorhome, go to the dealer and say, we're, you know, we're ready, we're finance approved and go and make a purchase next week if they've decided that brand new is not for them. Absolutely, in confidence, yeah, knowing that the funding's waiting for them. Perfect. I'm a motorhome virgin. I want to buy a motorhome. I've come to you, you've given me that quote. You say it's for a couple of weeks. Now, the economy is a bit all over the place. You might have noticed, by the way. Um, so is it just the two weeks that, that, that you can offer me those rates or, or a little bit longer? At the moment, rates are locked in for two weeks. Usually it'll be 28 days, but because of this turbulence um, and, and, the, and the unrest in the economy and the markets, um, uh, we can fix for two weeks from approval. And what's the sort of typical interest rate that uh, you're looking at? I don't need anything scientific or anything that somebody's going to hold us to, but just a ballpark figure. Well, at the moment, um, rates are starting from about 7.9, and it does depend on age of asset, term of loan, um, and obviously credit profile. Yeah, and what sort of uh, um, uh, lump sum would you necessarily be looking for uh, for finance? I mean, do, do rates improve, for instance, if I put 20% down or 50% down? Uh, they can do. Um, often, the more you're borrowing, the less the rate will be, um, subject to all the other variables. The more you're borrowing, the less w your rate will be? Absolutely, yeah. So um, if you're borrowing 60000 against a 100000 unit, um, you'd probably get a uh, better, lower rate than if you were borrowing 10000 against a £20,000 unit. That, that's odd. People will find that odd. I find that odd. So it's, I don't understand why that works that way. I think uh, it's the uh, charge for credit. If, uh, if you're borrowing £10,000, um, there'd be uh, less interest payable at a lower rate. So um, the, the, the funders uh, have, have costs to cover and the, it's all about economies of scale, I believe. They've just got to make a bit more money on that loan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, simple as that. So it's not entirely counterintuitive. Now this weekend we are going. To, it's sold out. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be busy. Yeah. So stand by your beds. Um, in fact, you're off on holiday, aren't you? Tomorrow is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you lucky boy. You yeah. timed that well. I missed the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but there, we're going to get lots of people coming to the show who are looking to hire out a fleet of motorhomes, and you can help companies, can't you, that ha are looking to set up um, or have motorhomes for hire. Um, tell us a bit more about that, would you? Absolutely, yes. So um, we've had loads of interest already at the show this week um, from uh, established or new start um, motorhome rental businesses. Um, we, we've got a big panel of funders. We've got a, uh, our, our parent company, Creative Funding Solutions, is um, very, very uh, big in corporate finance. So we've got all sorts of homes that, that, are, that are slightly different finance companies to the homes that um, um, the consumers might be using for their 120 month finance. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So yeah, definitely worth if you're coming to the show with intent to rent some motorhomes, then come and speak to Mike and his team. Absolutely, thanks Matt. And you see a lot of people here, uh, you know, on the middle age to older side, and they, they tend to be wealthier people as well. We've talked about the economic uh, turbulence. So uh, has the business, because of that turbulence, affected that particular group as well? What would have been 
I suppose, the, that big bulge of wel- wealthy customers who would have been going for finance? Finance isn't for everyone, and we absolutely uh, respect that. But but often the conversations we have, especially with people that have money in the bank, is um, you... you, you Liquid capital is always useful to keep hold of, so so they'll, they'll often have a mixture of using some of their capital and some finance. And the benefit of that is, is if you use some finance, you have the added protection of buying an asset on finance and um, merchantable quality issues and, and that sort of thing. You get support from the funder. Uh, if it's funded, you, you're all alone if you pay cash. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. If you've got the money in the bank, it's all very well uh, spending that money. But as you say, why not rent somebody else's money, which is essentially what you're doing when you're going for finance, yeah. uh, and keep your, as you say, liquid assets, your, ca- your assets, your your cash in the bank. It makes a lot of sense for people, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, absolutely. Mike, thank you ever so much for giving up some of your time on a busy Friday. Um, I hope you've had a great week and I wish you a fantastic weekend and thank you again for your support of the podcast. Thank you Matt, really appreciate it.